Hello everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas day 14 today. I hadn't filmed an opening clip, so that's why the opening clip of this is terrible. As you all know by now, I've got COVID, so that's why I sound like I've been smoking for 50 years. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but today's video is gonna be a fun little come book shopping with me video. That's not roasting. So yeah, I went to Melbourne and I did some book shopping and I brought you all along with me. So without further ado, let's get into it and into footage that is actually decent. Unlike this trash fire. That is complete shit. <laughs> Hello, I am here to do the book haul part of this video. So I am back from Melbourne. My voice is really dying, but I need to haul these books. So I only ended up going to two bookshops in Melbourne. I went to Minotaur, which was one of my favorites. I actually went there twice and got something each trip because I'm terrible. And then I went to Dimmix and I went with Ellie, Zoe and Kat who all have channels, so I'll link them down below. But yeah, we had a little booktuber meetup in Melbourne and it was so much fun. We had brunch and then we went to the bookshop and we chatted so much. We had such a good time. We found a book called I Love Dick and we made many jokes about that. And it was just amazing. Like we all got along so well. We were just like chatting for ages and it was super fun. Yeah, I love how booktube brings people together that like have so much in common. And it's so satisfying like talking in person. Like I know we talk on reading sprints, but there's something about being in person that's just like another level so it's really fun let's haul these books so i'll do my minotaur haul first so minotaur is a like game anime manga book shop it's got a lot it's definitely like a pop culture fandom store and i absolutely love it it's one of my favorite stores ever it's so good they had so much manga but unfortunately they didn't have any of the ones that I was collecting, which I was a little bit annoyed about, but it's fine. I had this light novel that I really want to read, but they only had book two and three, which I was also kind of annoyed about. <laughs> Obviously not their fault. Uh, so the book I brought on the first trip was Jade War, because I really loved Jade City. So I got Jade War so I can read that. Hopefully I can get to it sooner rather than later, but because of videos... It's really hard to continue on with series. Like, when am I going to be able to come up with a concept to read this? It's hard to move read when you're a booktuber, I used to tell you. Also, it's a lot floppier than the first one. Like, it's not super floppy, but the first one was like this. You could, you could like, barely open the pages. So that makes me a little bit excited. So, yeah, if you don't know what Jade City is about, it is a kind of family saga fantasy series. It's set on this island. People can use Jade to enhance their magical powers. There are kind of these like mafia families, they're called clans, and it's kind of the slow start of this clan war that's about to erupt. And we're kind of going through the family, the politics, the world, and it's so much fun. I really enjoyed it. And so I'm really excited to continue on. And I feel like the last two could get five stars. The first one was 4.5, just because I feel like it was a lot of building of stuff. So I feel like these ones could really be off the charts. So I'm super excited to pick that up. And then on the second trip, I got a manga because they had Fruits Basket there for a lot cheaper than I've ever seen them, like not secondhand. And I have all of the volumes of Fruits Basket that I need left on my wish list. And I knew my sisters had brought something from it, and Liam knew what they were, but I didn't know. 
so i just mentioned when i was there the second trip because i was actually there with my sister i was like oh i want to get like one of the fruits baskets because they're so cheap here but like i don't know if like you or my other sister you know got me them and she was like oh i didn't and liam was like oh your other sister didn't either so i got one while i was there i got volume six of fruits baskets so i don't have this one so now i'm over halfway through having them all once i finally get them i'm gonna do a reread i might vlog it i'm so excited you do not know this is my favorite story of all time it's a manga series about this girl who's super nice and she meets this family who are cursed by the zodiac so when they are embraced by the opposite sex they turn into the zodiac animals and it's a huge story about family trauma abuse and the power of kindness and it's just this beautiful delightful found family story that is super 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 heartfelt and adorable and yeah it's my favorite story of all time a few parts of it are a little bit outdated I won't lie and it comes with like pretty artwork these are the collector's editions the original books are now actually out of print so I've been getting these ones this is one of the most iconic pieces of art from the series Teenage Meredith would be frothing right now and then we have the four books that I got at Dimix so I really could have got more that Dimix is amazing it is huge and it just has so much and it was wild and I yeah I could have brought more but I had to kind of not go too crazy but I had been saving up for this trip so I was allowed to go a little bit crazy so the first one that I picked up was actor age Eve Brown if you don't know I've read the first two books in this series they are both five stars I love them so much so I am actually anticipating this will be five stars and I think this one might be my favorite because this series if you don't know is about these three sisters and each book is their romance and so Eve is the youngest and I'm the youngest of three so I just feel like I might like this the most just because of that and also just what I know of Eve I kind of relate to so yeah, and this is very much an enemies to lovers, which is my favorite trope in romance. And then I got another volume of Blue Flag. This is another manga that I absolutely love. I read it this year and I haven't shut the fuck up about it. So I'm sure you all know what it's about. If you don't know, this is a high school romance story. It's a love triangle. Everyone's in love with someone different. So it's queer. And it's just about the drama of that love triangle. And I just love it. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm flicking through this. And this is like my favorite volume probably so much shit goes down in this one i'm just looking at pages and i want to cry <laughs> i love this if you didn't know then i got parable of the sour soa i'm actually not sure how to pronounce that i'll have to look it up but this is another book by octavia e butler and you will have seen my try chapter tag video which was my day 709 video for vlogmas so i'll link that in case you haven't seen it but i did the try chapter tag and i ended up reading a book by octavia e. butler so i really want to read more of her books of course she's an author whose backlist i think i'm going to want to try and read all of so this is another one that's really popular i don't know if this is set in like the future or the present for Octavia Butler but anyway it's about a character who has an extraordinary power she can feel the pain of others she ends up recording all of this in her journal and something happens and so she has to become the voice for the people that she loves because she again can feel how they feel I'm expecting amazing things from this so I'm super excited to give it a go should hopefully get to that sooner rather than later we'll see how that goes and then the last book that i got i actually do have planned for a video i won't say what the video is but it's in the it's in the it's in the works and that is beasts of a little land i found out about this through reading with tatiana so i will link their video where they talked about this where i realized that i really want to read this book this cover so pretty the other edition is also really pretty and this is a epic story of love and war set during the turbulent decades of korea's fight for independence and i've just heard absolutely amazing things about this so i saw it there and i was like well i do have plans to read this so i may as well pick it up so that's why i got that one so yeah that is the books that i got let me stack them up for you guys there's my little stack so i got six books so i'm pretty happy with that melbourne is amazing the books there are cheaper and their selection's better than tassie i'm not salty about it though but yeah that is gonna do it 
for today's vlogmas video i hope you enjoyed and let me know some books you've bought recently and have you ever gone book shopping in melbourne i'd also love to know so thank you so much for being here i really hope you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you for vlogmas tomorrow but until then bye although it's been said many times many ways